Yo, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? It's your boy, Mr. J, aka Kwame Boy, a bung boy, Krio Boy, Bazinga. What's good, your dick gang? What's good, mother like yo? I just want to say thank you for tuning in once again. You could have been doing anything, but you decided to check your boy out. So, hey, for that, I say, I appreciate the love. And hey, let's keep it going. So, this is another non musical reaction. We're going to talk about a few things, man. That um you guys brought to my attention. Well, it's not that you brought to my attention. It's just that I was just trying to see the best way how to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been um something going on <laughs> in the media once again. We all know about the the talkity talk of the Cameroonian entertainers, and then a brother, Jovi, my brother from Cameroon, of course, a dopest artist. We're going to talk about his little, you know, Twitter tantrum. And we're going to see what is and what is not. You feel me? So, uh, a couple of days ago, my man from Cameroon dropped, uh, he went on Twitter, you know, just to get a little bit of buzz. I know this man is, he's very hyped with certain things like that, you know. It could be whenever he's trying to drop something, whenever he's trying to prove something and show something, he goes on Twitter. To get this, you know, talk started. So my man went on on Twitter and uh, he made a list of his top artists in Africa, and there were some pretty interesting names on it. And then for the number tenth, he put Sako there. Now I just want to clear some things out. I just want to say this. Of course, anybody has the right, the sole right. You are perfectly okay to make whatever list in whatever direction and dimension you want, position, chronological order or not. You have the absolute right. He has the right to do that. It is it is his personal, his personal opinion. You feel me? And then I started, I you know, I'm not going to put anything on, you know, there you guys go. And I'm going to leave a link out. You go check that shit out. And then he put, um, his fans started going in, started going in, happened. The man now happened. The man now happened. The man. Now, of course, fans, your fan base always going to stand by that man. You dig, you, you, you are allowed to do that. You dig. But then his list of the 10 best artists in, uh, in Africa. I don't know the position in which he was doing that. But to tell you guys the honest truth, the position in which he puts that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he puts himself as last, <laughs> or if he puts another artist as last. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing that most of my folks back at home will never do understand is this. Numbers. Numbers. When you, when you come out, to, the, to, to a platform, a public platform, social media platform, and you put out a list and you put out a, a content and an information and you know that you are in a position of, you know, of you are an influencer because this man has over 48,000 followers on Twitter. Of course, they're going to definitely come back and talk. Now, based on the list, and you putting Sakodea's name last. I bet you that Sakodea would not even give a damn if you put him first, if you put him last, or if you put him this, or if you put him that. Dude, because um, good artists don't actually go online to beef, uh, talk about I'm the best and this and that, which is the reason why. Most of these are my, my Cameroonian artists who've been saying they're better than this, better than that, better than every Nigerian artist. No Nigerian artist will going to belittle themselves and come stoop down low and say, hey, no, I'm better than this. Now, nah, it's going to be a childish match. What am I trying to say about this? If an artist like Jovi goes on and say, oh, these are my best artists. First of all, we got to understand Jovi is not just an artist, he's a producer. Now, I don't know of what, what context he's trying to say that, but I like the fact that we are going to look at this list of Jovi. You know, I'm the number guy. We gonna, I'm going to restructure that list for my brother. We're going to look at the numbers and everything. We're going to pull out numbers and everything. Now, he got the, the little buzz going on and the Ghanaians and the Sagnative and people, you know, they just, you know, he just pulled you guys in a little big 
part of pun of, of mud, and you guys started going haywire, this and that. And then this brother goes further on to say the reason why he is better than Sako Yeah, We don't talked about this before. Any Cameroon artist who comes and says, I'm better than this artist who is known globally, because Sako is not just known in Africa, globally known and recognized, globally known and booked for shows. I'm talking about globally being on tours and globally receiving awards. Awards. Mind you, I don't say that award does not tell about your talent, but award is a mirror image of your talent. Go back. There was a quote I put about that. Now, if this brother, of course, any artist has the right to go on and say, I'm better than this. I'm better than that. I'm better than this. Hell, I can say that I'm better than Little Good Joe. Fuck it. I can even say that I'm better than uh, Max Cortez. I can even say that I'm better than um, what's, which other artist I can think of than Am I a Baga? That's how I feel. You dig? I am at liberty to say that. You dig? Now, what happens is this, though, that I said it doesn't mean it's true. You feel me? That I say that I'm better. I can even say I'm better than Jovi. Yes, Mbokum Gag, you guys going to be bitching around, but the fact that I said it, it doesn't mean that it's true, though. It's my point of view. You feel me? Now, like I said, I like to be, I'm the number guy. You dig? I like to, let's, I like to look at things from like a mathematician. Let's look at things from the number perspective, the point of view of it. And if we are looking at the numbers, we are going to see that, of course, there's no comparison with Joe V. And Sarkodie, when it comes to numbers, there's absolutely no, no comparison. You want, you can argue with your ancestors, my Cameroon audience and my Dumboko gang. I really could not give a damn about that. You dig? But this man went on and, you know, he went deeply, deeply and talked about he better than this man because of this, because of that, because of this. Now, I know he a producer too. This brother started, this brother blends and he, he's created his own brand of music in Cameroon, you dig? On the production side of it, he's produced a whole lot of stuff for artists in Cameroon that are pretty much decent. You dig? On the production side of it, I know that Sakodia does not produce. So I'm going to give Jovi that part of it. You feel me? And then let's come to the musical part of it as artists. See, most artists slash producers or most producers slash artists, the thing is, we cannot definitely say on what platform you're trying to compare yourself with Sako. Yeah. You dig? If you're trying to say the way you understand music is different from the way you understand music, okay. As a producer, I will give you that. But in the other things, the same way you created the genre and laying a niche for your career, Sakodia has done the same thing in Ghana and beyond Ghana. Globally. You feel me? So this man saying that, literally, I would not have my head spin over it. But like you guys know, Mr. Jewish goes in for the number. So, artist to artist wise, there's no comparison, bro. There's really no comparison. Both of you guys are doing your thing, but when it comes to numbers and the artistic part of it, Sakodia is here and Jovi is here. Now, the brother talked about internet access. <laughs> Whoa, Cameroon. How can you say somebody is being streamed more because the country has a higher internet access than your country? Whose fault is that? Who's supposed to be blamed? You think that if the ban internet in, in, in Ghana for one year, which is a uh, one year, which is never going to happen. Let's just say hypothetically speaking, or one month, Sakodia's products is not still going to be streamed out of Ghana? That you're saying that because there's more internet access? Bro, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard any artist bring as a factor to argue. But of course... 
of course my Cameroonian artists always have something that they have to put in front to say that now i don't know to what what level you saying that because i know that cameroon has internet it's just as the block it in the english speaking side sometimes and everybody in cameroon literally access internet but it's not Sako there's fault that most people in ghana visit the internet than most people in Cameroon because they can afford because of course it translates to job and then it translates to policies and then it translates to education and if we go on and on about that we're not even going to settle down so my brother I don't know what you were thinking and this goes out to all the two three the book on gang my man is dope my man is everything respectable and everything but in terms of artistic er, things bro you are nowhere close to Sako Deer. You are way, way off Sako Deer's radar. They, a whole lot of people have tried to get into a radar, but my man don't just, he don't give a damn. But of course, it's, you, know, you have your right to take shot at wherever you want to. You dig so. Saying that you are better than Sako Deer, you're going to have to come with more stats and everything. But that's what Mr. J is here for. So for the sake of time, and I don't want this to be too long, I'm going to cut it now. But I will be putting on a vlog. We're going to look at the numbers from this brother's career, Jovi, and the numbers from Sako Diaz's career. We're going to break shit down. Now, we're going to break it down number-wise. You dig? And I know you guys like to watch shit like that. So, hey. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, smash that like and that notification. I hope you didn't leave the 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 the, the 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 commercial play. But let's let's talk about the numbers. I know my Cameroon audiences they don't like numbers, but we're gonna keep it real, we're gonna keep it truthful. You dig, be good, be nice, and in a couple of hours we're gonna put up the numbers. You dig, peace out.